Good morning, everyone. Let us stand as we sing our opening hymn, We Remember. We remember how you loved us to your death. And still we celebrate, for you are with us here. And we believe that we will see you when you come. In your glory, Lord, we remember, we celebrate, we believe. Here a million wounded souls are yearning just to touch you and be healed. Gather all your people and hold them to your heart. We remember how you loved us to your death, and still we celebrate, for you are with us here. And we believe that we will see you when you come in your glory, Lord. We remember, we celebrate, we believe. Now we recreate your love. We bring the bread and wine to share a meal. Sign of grace and mercy, the presence of the Lord. We remember how you loved us to your death. And still we celebrate, for you are with us here. And we believe that we will see you when you come. In your glory, Lord, we remember, we celebrate, we believe. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we gather at this Mass, we pray in a special way for the repose of the souls of Jerome de Souza, Rosina Cirillo, and Joanne Nowak. Gathering our prayers into one, let us recognize our sinfulness before our God and turn to him for mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved daughters and sons, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord saw that the wickedness of humanity was great in the earth, and that every inclination of the thoughts of their hearts was only evil continually. And the Lord was sorry that he had made human beings on the earth, and it grieved him to his heart. So the Lord said, I will blot out from the earth the human beings I have created, people together with animals and creeping things, and birds of the air, for I am sorry that I have made them. But Noah found favor in the sight of the Lord. The Lord said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and all your household, for I have seen that you alone are righteous before me in this generation. Take with you seven pairs of all clean animals, the male and its mate, and a pair of the animals that are not clean, the male and its mate and seven pairs of the birds of the air also, male and female, to keep their kind alive on the face of the earth. For in seven days I will send rain on the earth for forty days and forty nights, and every living thing that I have made I will blot out from the face of the ground. And Noah did all that the Lord had commanded him, and after seven days the waters of the flood came on the earth. The word of the Lord. 
The Lord will bless his people with peace. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Ascribe to the Lord, O heavenly beings. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the glory of his name. Worship the Lord in holy splendor. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The voice of the Lord is over the waters, the Lord over mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The God of glory thunders, and in his temple all say glory. The Lord sits enthroned over the flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king forever. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. All who love me will keep my words, and my Father will love them, and we will come to them. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. After feeding the crowd, Jesus sent them away and got into the boat with the disciples to return to the other side of the lake. Now the disciples had forgotten to bring any bread, and they had only one loaf with them in the boat. And Jesus cautioned them, saying, Watch out, because of the yeast of the Pharisees and the yeast of Herod. They said to one another, It's because we have no bread. And becoming aware of it, Jesus said to them, Why are you talking about having no bread? Do you still not perceive or understand? Are your hearts hardened? Do you have eyes and fail to see? Do you have ears and fail to hear? And do you not remember? When I broke the five loaves for the five thousand, how many baskets full of broken pieces did you collect? They said to him, Twelve. And the seven for the four thousand, how many baskets full of broken pieces did you collect? And they said to him, Seven. Then Jesus said to them, Do you not yet understand? The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. Do you still not understand? What a powerful question for us to reflect upon that Jesus asks us as here we are on Shrove Tuesday on the brink of the holy season of Lent. What is it that we don't understand, friends? The impact of our sinfulness is something that no scripture scholar, no theologian, no average Catholic, no priest can truly understand. God desperately wants us to change from our ways, as we hear in the first reading, how he was deeply troubled by the sinfulness and the evil in the world. This bothers God to his core. The only parallel I could make, although significantly less, is that when we hear of somebody who has cancer or a debilitating disease of some kind, it bothers us. We don't want the person to have it. We want it, the tumor removed. We want the surgery to take place. We pray for healing. We want change. And how so much greater sin is. And so the church in her wisdom gives us this beautiful season of Lent as a time of metanoia, a time of conversion, of deep re renewal of heart. How are we going to move from being a sinner to being like Noah? who is seen, along with his family, as righteous in the sight of God. Our words need to change, our actions need to change, our behaviors need to change. So, my brothers and sisters, I plead with you on behalf of the Lord that you and I need to become holy. We need to be transformed, and we absolutely, desperately need to change. Let us use the beautiful tools of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving to enhance our relationship with God so that we can become holy and pleasing in his sight. Let us not be um, taking the season for granted. 
Let us seize the opportunity of grace and utilize it to grow in holiness so we can bring a smile to the face of our God. Let us pray. With trust in our merciful God, let us bring to him our prayers. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all members of the church. May the Holy Spirit strengthen us in our work of building the kingdom of God here on earth, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for legislatures around the world. May God embolden them in acting policies to protect human life at all stages, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who are hungry or food insecure. May the love of God call forth people and resources to meet their needs, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our faith community of St. Joseph. May the Lord's compassion enable us to see and respond to one another's suffering, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That each of us may use this upcoming season of Lent as a time of true metanoia and conversion, that we will truly grow in holiness before the sight of God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an end to the spread of the coronavirus, for all those affected by the virus, that they may be healed by Jesus, the divine physician, for all frontline and medical workers, that God may keep them safe, and for all who have died as a result of the virus and their families left behind, that God may be their comfort and peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pray for all who have died. We remember especially Jerome, Rosina, and Joanne, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died, that God may welcome them into eternal life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we verbalize to God from the silence of our hearts. Heavenly Father, we humbly ask you to look kindly on the prayers we bring before you today. We ask these in all things in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, Lord. May our sacrifice in you, your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created humanity, and when we were justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed us through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, 
Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember your servants, Jerome, Rosina, and Joanne, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood, from all our sins and from all that is evil. Keep us faithful to your commandments, and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. For those receiving Jesus in a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, amen. Say, Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls, amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Friends, just a gentle reminder, tomorrow being Ash Wednesday, we are to abstain from eating meat, and also we are to give up one of our meals. We're to have two meals instead of three, or two small meals instead of three big ones. As we embark in this holy season of Lent, I pray that the Lord will teach all of us how to move from our sinful ways into holiness. We remember how you loved us to your death, and still we celebrate for you are with us here. And we believe that we will see you when you come. In your glory, Lord, we remember, we celebrate. 
we believe. Christ, the Father's great Amen, to all the hopes and dreams of every heart. Peace beyond all telling and freedom from all fear. We remember how you loved us to your death. And still we celebrate, for you are with us here. And we believe that we will see you when you come. In your glory, Lord, we remember, we celebrate, we believe. God bless you, everyone. Have a good day.